All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are live right now, and we are continuing our adventure to this game. We did basically all the stuff inside the castle, and now we are going to beat Nani in the lower hogs field. So this is a region outside, like a town outside of Hogwarts. So that should be fun. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. Flu network is everywhere. So let's jump over huh. here. Ugh! Yeah, baby. Oh, please. We don't need to stick to the path. Yeah. We create our own path. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we create our own path. What's with these recommended directions they'd be giving me? <laughs> actually, it looks like I might have to follow them. <laughs> I'm going to actually have to follow them. So there is a broomstick in this game. There is a broomstick in this game. It, we have not gotten it yet, obviously, because that's why we're walking like a chump. Uh, yeah, Bento, we, we're doing a pretty heavy stream day just because I won't be able to play as much tomorrow. Because tomorrow is a, I have a, more of a busier day. So we're trying to get in as much as possible. I have some stuff to do. Is Also, our dog has obedience class. So, we're getting it in now. We're getting it in now. The shortcut that I tried to pick ended up being a long cut. But that's all right. And as you can also see, we've swapped over to these dark robes, which look pretty boss. They're not actually offer. Any, they're actually just a skin. They don't offer any sort of bonus material or bonus stats. I'm kind of curious to test out these. Uh, these cabbages that bite at you, though. That sh should prove interesting. Should zippity zap the, the crows. Hopefully there's a flu network down here so I don't ever have to do this walk again. Ever. Rebellion. Oh, free stuff. This door's not locked. That means I can steal all the things. The heck is down here? It's like a cave? Pork plump juice? I need to put it on the fire side. Probably don't have this build yet. We need Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. So we'll come back. When we get the... When we get the correct spell to lift that rock. Storybook. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Get all the things. Oh, never mind. Locked. I never thought Ramrock's loyalty. Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. 
I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Good, Brandon. How's your night going? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it will be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Yo, we're about to go bust some skulls at the goblin camp. Let's go. Actually, let me sell some gear. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard. <laughs> My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? What do you got, dude? You got some uh, lace wing flies, toadstool caps, leech juice. I'm gonna sell gear because I have way too much gear to sell. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Good. See you again sometime. Apparently, I'm not equipping my best gear. But I'll change the look.
After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Aries, welcome in, welcome in. All right, let's go beat up this goblin. Camp, we'll clear it out. Rebellion. Oh, we got some spiders. Spiders. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Stupid. Leave me alone. I'm trying to defeat these spiders. I mean to get to this goblin area. An encampment. This must be it. All right, guys. Am I gonna die here? Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Oh dear. Oh dear. Regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. The wizards will have no. Just don't die. I like that advice. <gasps> Yo, hops? Took all those hops. It's with the balloon. Let's go. Actually, I don't think I was supposed to come in this way. Just here. Yo, I think we just uh, glitched the game. Because I can't get out through this way, and I can't... And they can't get in. So... I don't think they expect us to make those types of... Oh, wait. Oh, I can't open it. Okay. Ready? Rather unwise coming back this way. Quite an enchantment. Cut returning to arm. Oh! Woo! Let me see. Just you wait till I'm on solid ground. Akio. Let me see. How many of you are there? Stop! I'm afraid of heights! Ah, I'm Easily diverted. No thanks. Dead. No! no! Oh, I will make you pay. If only I ran on your ass, do you want to let me see? Send him. Come on. Pity. Not quite. You won't stop me. Ow. Dude, relax. There's a so many guys here. Oh my god. Dodge. Dodge. Pitiful end to a pitiful child. Uh, that was actually harder than I thought. Okay, we're, we're gonna try this again. I feel like we should take out the guys in the in the towers first because they're just like taking shots at me from 
Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Oh. They're all dead. Yo, guys, they're dead. Easy claps. <laughs> yeah. I guess we stealth it. Rebellion. Yeah, we glitched the game. Good, Shaba. It's pretty good. That was the first glitch we encountered, though. <laughs> Back. Interesting. Rebellion. What are these things? Yeah, we big brain that. Easy claps, because fast travel. We don't want to walk all the way there, so it's fast travel back to that camp. Those guys were like way above our level too. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. <sighs> it is good to see you, my oh. friend. Wait, 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 wait. Finish this quest off first. If you're here for my work. I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years and we've always got along just fine perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us what a nice idea ron i wish you luck with it oh i can't wait to get started uh, thank you again for all you've done I who lives here Got a goblin made helmet. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. 
Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. No, I just got an early Be call from Warner God. Brothers. Handy resource indeed, your I field. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? The heck was going on? Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I don't know about Forspoken Howard, to be honest with you. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. That was the I longest. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Revelio. That was the longest explanation for a fetch quest I have ever heard in my life. Tell me what you want. We dive in? 
Okay, we diving. Okay, we're not diving. We're waiting. We're waiting. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Nope. I got a I got a fancy hat though. Third time's the charm. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Or I should just keep it and sell it for tons of money. Like a true Slytherin. Should we help this guy? They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Show a fool you want! Ah! Incendio! Accio! Take more in this! Ah, oh, these guys are much easier than those, uh... What the? Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes! Oh, come on. You'll take this student up a problem. I really need to dodge those. If you last that long, what have you done? You haven't got friends. Potato! Where's it go? Oh, roll! Roll, roll. I think it pro the problem with this attack is I need to get like super close for it to actually work. I should probably swap back to expel the Armus. There you go. Got him. Chug, 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 chug. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life.
Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these... Way ahead of you, lady. Incendio! The flames make the pyre sink. Man, How beautiful! It's Marlin. What a day! I can hardly believe. Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Just do a quick... I gotta change something up real quickly here. I gotta swap this around. I'd like this to be circle, and I'd like this to be triangle. There we go. Okay. Now, talk to this lady. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did it. I'm keeping it. It's yours for a price, baby. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. 
A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Dude. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Hey. Check out my challenges. Lucky leprechaun gloves. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Merlin's beard. Twelve plus twelve. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the Gryffindor robes. Dark Arts robe. Whoa. like I'm from Durmstrang. Should I go back to the Mad Hatter hat? Yeah. Enough little place. Revelio. Are any of these doors open? Yes, they are. Let me just rob these people blind. Of all their things. Give me that money, Accio. Revelio. Still don't have Aloha Mora. So I'll leave that for now. Ooh, new wand handle. That was nice. That was nice. I'm gonna sell the rest of the gear because gear Aren't you space. the student who ran all those goblins? Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'm just gonna sell everything. Can't carry too much stuff. Gotta keep this yellow one just because it's yellow. A 
hope to see you again sometime. I think the game's been really solid so far. Revelio. It's pretty good. Very good. But then again, I went in with very low expectations. But it's been surprisingly good thus far. Okay, let's fast travel back. We're gonna go talk to nearly headless Nick, apparently. Oh, I just have to zoom in the Hogwarts map. Really? Wow. Closest one I have is here. Nah, 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 nah. We, we're Gryffindor. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. We're not uh, dark people. Does that do anything? Revelio. Are there numbers on them? I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. One. It has one line. Incendio. This one has two lines. Two lines. This one has one, two, three, six. Okay, now I'm confused. Is it lines or triangles? It's very close to the Deathly Hollows logo. Oh my god, it's right here. The circle is two. This is four. Sorry, this is... Four. Deathly Hollows is three, the other one is one. This one is one. Got it. Everyone into the hole.
New handle for a wand. Totems. Big chest. Renaissance cap. Okay. I'm the doctor nearly as headless Nick. I've always said that travel broadens the Hush you. Was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp Game's wasn't good. too disagreeable like when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. You want? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Welcome in, Bryson. Welcome in. Thank you. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you! A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's this again. No, my god. Let me just bring out my cheat sheet here, guys. I had to save this image. <laughs> Gotta save this image. We got here. Four plus whatever the hell that is. Two equals six, so we need a zero. That means this is a, this is a walrus. That thing, or an owl. Okay. Then we got six, so we need a five. Five is a crab. No, we're just, where's the logo? Off 
on another adventure, are we? Fluid network. Thing is, I know the solution. I need to find the next number two. Rebellion. It should be highlighted in blue, right? If I rebellio. Oh. resource in your field guide I'm most pleased to be included okay cracking cloak bookcases all right let's go to the one-eyed witch Descendium. Descendium. No, I'm gonna go to bed after this. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Hi, Ariel. Welcome in. Welcome in. Fix and lifts. That seems to have done the trick. Yeah, why don't we just buy stuff? Welcome back in, d -Loss. How you doing, sir? This castle will never cease to surprise me. Revelio. Speak so weirdly. Cease to surprise me. Whore clump juice. Oh dear. Incendio. Don't awaken the spider. Rebellion. Don't look up. <laughs> Supposed to get out of here. Easy, easy. Going to have to get past this. Rebellion. Repair. Him. Okay. 
Okay. Lock her in. Rebellion. There's a shady stuff happening down here. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Rebellion. Repair her. There you go. Let me also. That did the trick. Rebellion. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Good. <gasps> Don't miss the jump. This must be the one. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. What is that sound? Revelio. Way. Come on. Hug the railing, dude. Hug the railing. Thank you. Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honey Dukes. I didn't even get to go into Honey Dukes when we went to uh, Hogsmeade for the first time. Got stuck on the on the rails mission. Maybe I'll spend some time in Hogsmeade while I'm here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? the dried billywigs things now back to gareth i can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out rebellion i could probably fast travel uh back to hogs right oh sorry hogwarts Samples. Rebellion. Fizzing Wisbees. where we spotted those sketchy people. What the heck's this thing? Just paper? Before I go there, let me, uh... 
go here. That one, and there was one behind me too, I think. Like flying around here. Memory. Memory. I sometimes have it. <laughs> All right. Now, there's apparently I missed one in the sh potion shop. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Perry Pippin. Rebellion. Somehow missed that chest. Flu Network. Maybe I should sell some stuff. things Legit. So I kind of actually like this one better. More elegant. Put on some eyewear, but not put on eyewear. They're getting any gloves? No. I kind of wish they would default to um, just be instead of when I swap out my appearance, it would just swap over to the default instead of having to change the appearance every single time. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the dark robes for you guys. Okay. either please there well we'll rock the dark roll looks for a little bit just a little bit I feel like I'm a death eater though right now Okay, back to Hogwarts.
Alright, Gareth. These better be the best fizzing Wizzlies I've ever seen. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billy wigs. Should things. I put the hood on? You got them! Incredible. For a fee. <laughs> Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Okay, let's, let's put on the hood for you guys. All right, we'll put on the hood. Just call me an assassin. We're playing Assassin's Creed here. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Revelio. Nah, I don't like the hood on. I don't like the hood on. It covers my beautiful hair. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. His head's not hanging, though. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Revelio. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Time to meet up with the house elves in the kitchen. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on. Revelio. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> tickle the pear. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What could they watch? Delicious food and what found themselves a bit peckish likely. Certainly you know how makes room. My life is behind me. I promise. It smells glorious in here. Revelio. Get away from me. What do you want? Where does one find rotten roast beef? Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ooh, that one looks cool. Revelio. Is this rotten? Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but... What I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please 
help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Anything else down here that I can... Revelio. That gigantic chest? Gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Oh, chug the butterbeer. All right, back to Nick. We got you the stinkiest roast beef I could find, sir. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. This is discrimination because they won't let him join the hunt because he's not completely headless. <laughs> he's nearly headless. <laughs> What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amset. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. 
Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. It has stink fumes. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for... Bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my head. Or so I recall. Lumo some candles? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Say he's in over his head this time. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, game. I got you. next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins hello again can you help me ah sir nicholas's young friend has he abandoned you not at all i need to speak to richard jackdaw sir patrick said his head might be around here somewhere indeed it might be hmm it is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal but if you do wish to speak with him oh why not you can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cut! Listen, we're sure to find him. Revelio.
Leviosa. Repair her. That ghost said I... You stubborn already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jack Daw? Whatever you Rebellion. say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? Oh, I see you. Fun. A sting is playing. Akio. Well, good job, I suppose. Revelio. Not through with you. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a you So you found us. This ain't over yet. Revelio. No match for you. This way? Oh, we're fun. I think this plan. Akio. You make this look easier than it's supposed to be. I've never seen a place like that. Revelio. This won't be long now. Akio. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Hey, man. Not too bad. I followed the mortal. rules. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What would I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? We're going to the Forbidden Woods. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Sounds like a guillotine. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Oh, just nippled. Almost level 12. I might as well do this while I'm here.
Okay, let's take a look here. Inventory. Find this map. So it is a bridge next to an archway. Forests and houses in the background. The force is this way. So it means it's on this side. How many bridges are there? There's only three bridges, right? So it has to be one of these ones. Welcome, Martin. Forest, a bridge, and candles. Honestly, I, I have no idea. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. gonna go with the quest. I don't want to spend too much time here. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. Welcome in, Josh. Yo, Josh, with that beautiful emblem. Happy one year, sir. Accio, dear. Lyondale's not half as tough as it sounds. Should we beat Rebellion. up these guys? What level are they? Twelve? Nah, nah, nah. That's, that's too much for us. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to Couple revisit the scene of my demise. You'll get there. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Revelio. You didn't help but maybe avoid all the warning signs? Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Incendio! Oh dear. Oh boy. No, oh, let's just... I think just messed me up, dude. Messed me up. What are you up to now? Akio. Okay, plays a little cooler. This is a level twenty. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, I'm, in, I'm going down the wrong path. Let's be going down this path. Ah, that's why those Nothing guys are- to do now, but keep going. I was going down this stupid high path. Ah. <laughs> uh. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. It's good, Christy. It's good, good, good. A puff sky? Can I pet you? I want to pet them. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. 
There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. There's a pansy there. Incendio. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But No, thank you. I won't rest. That's Ganon, boys. Flawless victory. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. Wonder how big this place is. It's a puzzle. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. They lit them up. Just gotta be quick. Just gotta be quick. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Dude, I go in there and get like attacked by a bajillion things. Okay. I'm not gonna touch that. Oh. oh, oh, can't touch. Fire works very well as you would expect against the spiders. Maybe okay, if I group, group them a little bit better. The screeching does not help my ears. Oh my god. Stupid. Akio. Potato. 
Vigo, incendio. Get the flexes, bro. Big test. Gear slots are full. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Their slots is too little. We need to get an upgrade. Oh, we got knight's armor. Did I not open the chest? I think I got it. I think I opened it. I'm very confused now, though. Must have opened it. Float straight to me. I just got mo-opped. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. I gotta line it up, pull it towards me, and then Accio my way to the other side. Accio! Good. No. 
here. Money. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. Revelio. Did any leaves? How do I get the chest back there? Revelio. Interesting. Accio. Incendio. Potato. Stupid boy. Levioso. Oh, come on. Accio. Incendio. Another puzzle. Well, if Jack Dawg has done this, so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Oh, there it is. Man, man, eh? Spiders. Stay back, spiders. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Oh, I think this is a chest that I was trying to find. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Accio. One more. It's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Incendio. This cave is legit. Protego.
Got me quick with the wand. Oh yeah, cabbages. Where'd that come from? Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Incendio. Can I go through this? No. Dead end. This place is a literally gigantic maze. It wants me to go there, so I'm gonna go here first. Akio. I go the opposite way the game wants me to go. Hold up. Come on. Spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Ooh, the heck was that? Dude, I so tap for Tago. What's going on? Uh, is simply too many. I definitely tap for Tago there. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? We gotta sell the cheap stuff. Sixty's pretty cheap, right? Yeah, we gotta sell the level of the 60 coin stuff. I have no health left. Flying boys, we're flying. Damn two coins. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Tool would have been interested in this loot. Okay, let's equip the best gear that I have now. Plus five. That's locked. Plus seven. Plus seven. Plus 
destroy the 60 coin ones. Oh, yes. A wing world potion. Let's get it. Love it. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. He's comfortable to head with the giant. Stupid. Let me answer. I don't know what are you doing. What are you doing to me, spider? Go fire jar. Oh, my God. Oh dear. Oh dear. Should have saved some of those jars for the uh, big guys. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Gotta die, gotta die. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Hi. Uh... quest causing me stress dude stress and me out not a headless skeleton in sight hmm. but I may as well help I'll need to look around for the symbol Gotta do Reparo. Reparo! Reparo! No? Maybe I got Reparo from the top. Oh, never mind. I just. It's a race. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. I'll fix my I outfit must be after getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Accio, incendio, leviosa, potato. Oh, come on. No, I tap that. I so tap that. Stupid one. Let me also. Accio. Incendio. 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 Let me also. Accio.
Where the heck did that guy even come from? Accio to the incendio is pretty good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Accio. Incendio. Oh. Let me upset. Can't do any of those things. Oh dear. Okay. Oh my god. Just basic dodging. I'm on the verge of death. It's okay. Oh, my God. Don't let them get close. Woo! No, thank you. Okay, focus on one. Almost dead. I really don't want to try to get too close to him though. Just one more slash, I am S O L. It's a new! What? That's some uh, thing. What's First that? try. First try. Rebellion. I've seen this before. Green gods and the restricted section. About to get another one of those pensive memories. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. Oh, do I have to light this up? What is this place? Protagonist is you. It's me. It's us. Can it be?
It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Dark Arts? be useful. So with that one. So we'll do that. We don't have any dark art spells. There's so much to buy. Oh, cool. You can add another set of spells. So you don't have to quick swap them. Huh. Another spell set. What is this room of requirement thing? Fertilizer.
So we have to find this stupid book. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. You need it. We, we gotta calm down, X Cash, dude. It's great that you're further into the game, but we don't need the backseat gaming. I will spend and play how I want. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Don't need potions, just don't get hit. That's what's up. Revelio. And where's Aloha Mora when you need it? You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Hogsmeade and I'm going to sell stuff because this is ridiculous. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I need to unload all this gear. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Five potion recipes. All right. Sal. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stock replenished. Two hundred. Oh, gotta equip that. Can't wear that yet. Not high enough level. Bye bye, Mad Hatter hat. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Just need to relax there. Calm down, next cash. I'm gonna have to put you a timeout, sir. Okay, there we go. What does it mean it's unidentified? Oh, you can take it to the room of requirement. We don't we don't got the room of requirement. Need to be level 13. I'm so close to 13. What can I do for you today? Should I buy some potions? Damage potions. Oh, 
a wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. There's a quest in here. Look at the fireworks. Maybe I will do this quest. Huh. Yeah. Things be apparating and disapparating all around me. Here I come. <laughs> the scissors. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna call it a stream right here. I'm gonna get ready for bed, basically. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream, and hopefully, you guys enjoy the episode. We'll probably just continue with two-hour streams of this game continually on until we beat the game. But yeah, it's been a good ride so far. Uh, been a very enjoyable game so hopefully guys have you guys been enjoying it and if you got this far reach the end thumbs up greatly appreciate it and we will see you guys next stream right i'll try to get do as much as i can tomorrow but like i said tomorrow is pretty busy but i will probably get at least one stream in all right everyone have a good day bye bye